Welcome to Try Not To Laugh Trivial Pursuit Edition, Chosen Edition. I am the Chosen, and today I will be facing off in a game of wits and also humor against my greatest competitor, myself. Hello, Chosen. Wow. It's been months since we last faced off. Indeed. Oh, I look forward to winning. <laughs> we'll see about that. Only one Chosen can win. This is kind of like Highlander, except with laughter. I don't laugh at all. The rules are simple. Each turn we'll roll a die, and we'll move, and whichever color we land on will be the color of the question on the card that we will read. But we're not trying to be correct here, even though we obviously probably know all the answers. The name of the game is to say something funny and silly and make the other person laugh. The goal of the game is to fill up your clip with every color bullet. It's actually a magazine. Well, it's more of a barrel. This would clearly go into some sort of revolver. <laughs> Good luck to you, Chosen. And good luck to you, Chosen. Now we shall roll to see who goes first. Two. <laughs> five. It's a five. Impressive. Indeed. Here I go. <laughs> six. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm already looking to get a slice. Just like Leonardo. Elon Musk. <laughs> Named his electric vehicle after which legendary Serbian-American scientist? Oh, definitely. Some joke about him murdering a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have given that to you that easily. Yeah, I really let that up. You may take a green. Yes, that's right. Wow, it's gonna be a quick one. No, but he did that. He did murder a lot he of monkeys. He did murder a bunch of monkeys with Neuralink. Some... It's okay, apparently they were sick. Yeah, apparently the monkeys did it on purpose. Huh. The longest journey begins with a single step. <laughs> I shall follow in your footsteps. Hmm, here we go. Which camera shy Australian singer scored her first Billboard Top 10 hit as a solo artist with her song, Chandelier? Maggie Rogers. Hmm, good answer. But incorrect, because it didn't make me laugh. No, I, I understand. But that is tough. The answer is obviously C. Lord. Three. One, two, three. Give me a blue. Los Angeles. That was the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's an easy one. What was the first anime film to win an Academy Award? <sighs> obviously, Akira. No, but it should have. What? Yes. What was it? Grave of the Fireflies? No. S silly. Spared it away. What? Hayao Miyazaki-san. Akira was totally freaking snubbed. Five. I think that places me perfectly at the green. How many pixels in a megapixel? Well, not counting Mega Man Legends 1 and 2. 16. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. All right. Green me. Oh shit! Jesus Christ! <laughs> What's your slice up there? <laughs> what was that? Classic mistake. Two, one, two, roll again. Here we go. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Green. What is generally the brightest star in the night sky? Raw. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the way I like my cookie dough. <laughs> Okay, you may roll again. I was talking about the sun god, but yeah. One, two, three. It's time for a blue. Mm, okay. This is gonna be the quickest game of Trivial Pursuit that You know what, I'll, 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 pr seen. I'll produce a question from the same card. Which country is the home of the cookie-like crumb cake? Crumb cake. I do not partake in that, you know that. I, I'd never fap. I do not watch crumb cake. <laughs> You know, it's when you crumple up a bunch of cookies and sprinkle them over someone's face. <laughs> 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 
Hmm, okay, I think that's sufficient enough for me to roll again. Actually, for a blue. The biggest pizza begins with a single slice. <laughs> Three. Which way would you like to go? Bring it towards me. Bring Go towards yellow. In what year did the Treaty of Paris officially end the American Revolutionary War? There are some of us who are still fighting. <laughs> <laughs> That could be interpreted so many ways. <laughs> Would you like to roll again? Not particularly, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'll stay. <laughs> stay. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll again. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, shit. Yes. Mm. Who was the first female prime minister of Pakistan? How offensive do I want to get with this? <laughs> <laughs> That's an efficient answer. <laughs> so you Jeez. get a yellow. Okay, I'll take that. Shit. Okay. Three. One, two, three. Yellow. Which U.S. national park is 96% water? Most people don't know about this, but Atlantis. <laughs> I saw it coming and still. <laughs> it was the only answer. Ooh. Give me a two. Nice. Oh. One, two. Give me an orange. <sighs> this game's gonna be over. In They're not in season right now. <laughs> Just Fine, kidding. give me a persimmon. What was the first professional sports league to surpass one billion followers on social media? Public executions, really, in France. I mean, look, look for being real here. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. That's Britain, but it's still same principle. No, it was the NBA. <laughs> oh. I'm being told it's like the WNBA, but all dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can, you can take an orange. <laughs> one, the age I became a man. Indeed. Remember that one? Yeah. Well, it seems I'm at an impasse. I go left, purple. I go right, purple. You I'm could gonna just take leave. my chances. Give me a blue. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, give me a, uh, mm, no, give me a purple. What is the name of the illustrated gentleman who frequently graces the front cover of the New Yorker magazine? Huh. Clearly that's Oswald the Rabbit. Eustace Tilly. Two. Which way? Holy that way. Man. Roll again. Five. Keep One, it two, going. Three, four, five. Oh. Yeah. I'm about to frickin', frickin' ace this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, no big deal. Good f***ing luck. Name four of the eight justices on the U.S. Supreme Court after Antoine... Go on. I just wanna hear what game you're playing. Is that Four Swords? <laughs> Is that Four Swords? No. It's not Four Swords because I'm not connected to my GameCube. I would, I would, you have a connector to the GameCube where it can be. I thought you could totally play that independently. You can play it independently, but like you're wasting your time. You're not getting the full experience. No, it's linked to the past, you frickin' rookie. Name four of the eight justices on the U.S. Supreme Court after Antonin Scalia passed away in 2016. Yeah, okay. Obviously, frickin' Clarence Thomas. <laughs> 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 I have to be aware of all the injustices in the world, including the ones on the Supreme Court. Okay, take the yellow. Wow. Jeez, he's kicking my ass over here. Almost got the full pie already. Mm. This episode's gonna be 15 minutes long. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. 
In the 1975 film Jaws, which brand of beer can does Captain Quint famously crush? <laughs> it's a sun kissed. <laughs> Trick question. Take your big slice. Two, one, two. Shit. Pink. Which sequel with glee-like tunes like The Thong Song, oh, I feel disgusting just saying that, oh, God. made more money in its opening weekend than the first film made in its entire run? It's obviously The Godfather Part Two. Mm. No. Mm, damn. Let's kick it up a notch. One, two, roll again. Three, four, shut the door. Do you want to go, which yeah, way do you want to take, go? Take me back. All right, blue. Oh, <laughs> apologies. Don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry. In which country is Kronborg Castle, a Renaissance edifice built in the city of El Senor, where Shakespeare's tragedy Hamlet is set? Cyrodiil. Hmm. No. Four, one, two, three, four, yellow. Which unlikely phrase describes the creepy feeling we might get when we see a robot that looks just a little too human? Oh, that's freaking obviously. When you feel ex machina about something. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this is just like the Alex Garland film, ex machina. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm feeling really ex machina right now. Three, shit. One, two, three. Give me blue. Mm. At which French landmark would you find the Hall of Mirrors? Freaking, um, uh, Pagliacci's House of Silliness. They don't talk about it much. I tend to avoid mirrors. Same. One, two, three, four, five. The color of sun kissed. Indeed. Which Seattle Seahawk football player was voted by users to appear on the cover of the video game Madden NFL 15? I have no idea. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> the answer was Richard Sherman. Cam Newton was the runner up in the 16 player bracket. Classic mistake. <laughs> Classic mistake. Three, one, or wait, sorry. One, two, three, give me yellow. What's the term for the opinionated style of journalism pioneered by Hunter S. Thompson? Gonzo journalism. <laughs> Sometimes the funniest thing in life is the truest too. Holy shit, it's just like the Muppets. <laughs> that is correct. Okay, five, shit. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Give me green. Who was credited for directing the 1984 commercial that debuted Apple's personal Macintosh computer? George Lucas. That would actually kind of make sense. It's actually Ridley Scott. That's actually so freaking crazy. Yeah. Finally, my turn. Four. Which dude am I? This dude. One, two, three, four. Yes! <gasps> well played. Five. Put me on the, wait. Send me this way. This way? No. Yes. Two, three, four, five. Shit. Give me sun kissed. Which sister of an NBA Hall of Famer was a four time All American basketball player at USC and a member of the US Olympic team in 1984? Mia Hamm. Incorrect. And not funny. <laughs> <laughs> and frankly, I don't like joking about women. <laughs> Who, who was it though? Uh, Cheryl Miller. Oh, uh, best of luck to her. <laughs> yes. I wish her well. <laughs> five. One, two, three, four, five. Give me yellow. What does the hashtag TBT stand for? TBT? <sighs> the blood times. I'm afraid that was incorrect. <laughs> Did you say TBT or TBD? TBT. Oh, that was a D. The, the blood dimes? The blood times. But the, now with TBD, TBD is a completely different- No, no, different... it is TBT. TBT? Yeah. Oh yeah, the blood times. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I guess I can go again. <laughs> Just a picture you had said it's like, TBT. <laughs> All right, guys, TBT. Six, Jesus Christ. One. The second highest three, possible number five, you can six, roll. Six, roll again. 
Give me a five. One, oh, whatever, green. What is the most plentiful gas on earth? Whatever they manufacture at every Magic the Gathering competition. <laughs> Impressive, you stayed strong. It's actually nitrogen. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'll give you another shot. I have another question for you. Very well. Which protagonist topped the American film industry's 2003 list of the greatest movie hero of all time? Oh, Neo. It is Neo. It's Atticus Finch. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I just wanted to hear you say his name. <laughs> I just want to point out that Neo facing the entire Matrix means it includes the stuff Atticus Finch also dealt with. Like, they, they Neo did that and more. I can't believe One Neo beat argue. up Boo Radley. <laughs> <laughs> Inside of that hole in that tree was the Matrix. <laughs> My turn. We have established that Chosen canonically has read To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> Six. Six, holy Six. moly. That's, that is the number I became a man. One, two, three, four, five, shit. Okay, hit me. Here we go. What is the name of Maroon 5's debut studio album? The Blue Album. <laughs> <laughs> is it Letters for Tiffany? It's Songs about, <laughs> songs it's about Tiffany. <laughs> Letters for Tiffany. <laughs> Shit. Okay. The debut album was called Kara's Flowers back when they were known as such. That's true. You can Google it. Four. Nice. One, two, three, four. Wait, Purple. I got that. Uh, oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> Wait. Shit. Fine. Weezer Weez Erasure. Okay. Keep going. Gee whiz. Sorry. <laughs> Yes! Shit. Did everyone see that? Yeah. One, two. Which island drink invented in Puerto Rico in the 1950s has a Spanish name that translates into English as strained pineapple? <laughs> For a second I thought it was sun-kissed and I was like, that was gonna be really freaking crazy. Well, unfortunately, it is sun-kissed. Nice trick. Incorrect. Shit! <laughs> the answer was piña colada. No way. Yeah. I'm getting caught in the rain. I do not drink. I cannot afford to lose focus at any moment. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. Three. One, two, three. Yellow. Which Academy Award nominated actor made a 1999 cameo on Sex and the City as one of Carrie's dates? Um, Jeff Daniels. Oh, that'd be really funny though. <laughs> oh, shit. Thought after Purple Rose of Cairo, he'd make that jump. It was unfortunately all of the Blue Man group. <laughs> now it was Bradley Cooper. What? Yeah, for Limitless. Oh. The Academy Award for Limitless. It's like the best movie ever. Fully believed you for a second. Yeah, it's like- It is the best movie kind of ever made. Everyone freaking knows that. Yeah. You know I've taken it. <laughs> <laughs> but I choose not to. <laughs> it had no effect on me. It had no effect. I actually got dumber. <laughs> five. One, two, three, four, five, yes! This could go one of two ways. Neither of which worked in my favor. One, two, three. In the quiz show Jeopardy, what is the second round of the game called? Jeopardy 2. Electric Boogaloo. I didn't say that. You said that. It's The answer is double Jeopardy. I was actually surprisingly close. Yeah. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Blue. What is the name of the Japanese broth that's made from fermented soy paste? <sighs> Soybean paste. Yeah. That would be... Gum gum fruit juice. So, what's your favorite arc, bitch? <laughs> it's actually miso. Fuck. Worst mistake of my life. Being goofy silly. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! Shit. This is my chance. Bullshit. Purple me. Which 19th century Gothic American author is often depicted with a raven? Simple. J.K. Rowling. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's just her 19th century mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Freaking owned. Take your purple. I was more of an Aragon man myself. I actually wrote Aragon before he did. <laughs> 
Christopher Paolini copied me. <laughs> yeah, it's called Star Wars with Dragons. Hmm. One. Nice. Pink. Which celeb's 2015 book, titled Selfish, is 455 pages of selfies that she herself has taken? Well, she made sure it wouldn't be released for 50 years after her death, so that's Jackie Onassis. That would be wild. <laughs> I think that counts. <laughs> One, I'll roll again. Two, give it to me, please. Shit. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, orange. What was the first flavor of a Slurpee, whose creator in the late 1950s called it a fizz? Sort of a trick question. The original flavor was just ice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you gave it to me. Wait. The answer? It's actually the most delicious soda of all time. Root beer. Mm. I'm making a cannon. The Chosen loves root beer. Very well. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yellow. Which post-apocalyptic AMC series calls its antagonist walkers, biters, lurkers, and monsters, but never what they actually are? Mm. Yeah. I know that one. That's just called my high school experience. The answer is obviously Mad Men. <laughs> I was braced for Mad Men the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and it still didn't work. Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll again. Give me freaking. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Purple. Finally going to get this slice. What is the name of the title character in Stieg Larsson's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo? That would obviously be the Swedish Man. Salamander. F I knew that. Whoa, holy shit. One. What's the nickname for the fixed gear bicycle made popular by bike messengers and urban hipsters? Is it just a unicycle? No. Oh. It's a fixie. What? It's a fixie. Unicycle is way better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree. One. Hmm. I will get this purple. In which style of horseback riding should the rider post during a trot? <laughs> yeah, that would have to be standing position. That's the best you got? <laughs> Shit. I'll give you another shot. Would it be Western style? It's actually the exact opposite. Oh, European? English. Yeah, I mean, same thing. Five. One, yes. two, three, yes. four, yes. five. Yes! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Name two of the eight country flags that bear red, white, and green horizontal stripes. Easy. Clarence Thomas. <laughs> 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 All right. Take your blue and yes! get out of here. Oh, the pie is looking awfully complete. Not for long. Four. One, two, three, four. Orange. Oh, overshot it, just like the astronauts in Armageddon. I prefer Deep Impact. In which card game do players try to shoot the moon? Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's freaking go. Five. Orange, I'll make my way. One, two, three, four, five, roll again. Jesus. Could this be it? No. Oh, one, two, three, four, oh. Shit. Shit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, purple. Who wrote the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas? Don't say Alice B. Toklas. That's what it says on the card. Susan B. Anthony. No? Okay. Actually, wait. Scratch that. Reverse it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not. Wait, who was it? Uh, Gertrude Stein. Oh, well, good for her. Yeah. <laughs> We wish her well. One, two. Yellow. Cheryl Miller and Gertrude Stein, I hope you're out there crushing it at whatever it is that you do. We're making it official. Cheryl Miller and Gertrude Stein are also chosens. I hope that is not a controversial take. I have not done research. What artist works include the bedroom, 
sunflowers and self-portrait with straw hat. Listen, I'm not going to listen to Taylor Swift's Eretz tour. So don't get me started on it. There's the straw hat joke right there. <laughs> oh yeah, one piece. <laughs> okay. Five. Um, My favorite author is One Piece. One, two, three, four, five, blue. Which periodical is the best-selling young women's magazine in the US? A Bible for fun, fearless females. That would have to be Tiger Beat. It's actually shown in jump. <laughs> Berserk, but for women. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, shit. My favorite car song. I'm letting you know now that I am not going to laugh at whatever you say, no matter what it is. Even if it's the funniest joke I've ever heard in my entire life. Which round flat candies did Admiral Byrd take to the South Pole on his two-year expedition of 1928? Is it Nika Wafer? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I tried to answer that for real, but like, <laughs> was Wait. it Nika Wafers? Oh shit, it was Nika Wafers! <laughs> <laughs> they, they get to the South Pole, they're like, wait, this f sucks. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever tasted in my goddamn life. It actually, holy shit, it was Nika Wafers. That is the correct answer. Oh, God. oh God, that's, that's the that's worst thing awful. to take. Jeez, oh, God damn. They later based the, the TV show The Terror after that. <laughs> you may take your final slice. Oh, yes. Mm, this reminds me, I have leftover pizza at home. Not a bit, I really do. Thin crust? You bet your bottom dollar. Nice. Why are you rolling? <laughs> to get to the middle. Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> to get to the Jimmy Eat World the middle. That's right, I forgot about that part. Which two super popular hip hop trios joined forces for 1987's Together Forever tour? D12. <laughs> <laughs> And three six mafia. <laughs> That's the. That is, in fact, the most chosen answer you could have given. All right, go again. <laughs> Thought I forgot about my band, did you? <laughs> Sex. Oh, that's enough to get me in. This could be the Shit. final answer. And You've I got to, some I catching to, up to do. I get to do whichever one I want, right? Sure. I, it's actually what I've been doing the entire time. <laughs> And for your benefit, I'm trying not to give you too many, like, which country was Russia in? <laughs> which government organization began as the code-breaking cipher bureau in World War I? Who gives you your driver's license? <laughs> <sighs> I get one last breath. <laughs> one last chance. Oh, my favorite Creed song. One last opportunity. One. Holy shit. Give me a purple. He's beginning to believe. I can do this. Huh. Which man of letters buried in Bennington, Vermont, has the phrase, I had a lover's quarrel with the world engraved on his tombstone? <sighs> That's freaking obviously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count. Doesn't count. That counts. You laughed. <laughs> I used my chi. <laughs> I used my induced laughter spell. <laughs> I used my dissonant whispers on you. You weren't here, but this morning Ian used the phrase, I gleeked on it. <laughs> Which is a phrase I hadn't heard since middle school. That's the most chosen thing you could have ever said. I perfected gleeking. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Orange. Holy shit. Uh, which upscale shoe designer is known for his red lacquered souls? That would be Dr. Martin. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> it's, it's uh, green. This won't help you. Okay. <sighs> no, but I'm so close. Which muscle car rolled off the assembly line in March 1964? Dominic Toretto's Dodge Challenger. <laughs> Oh, it's four. One, two, three, four. Purple. On my last, here we go. Which 1,136 page novel takes place on a single day, June 16th, in the city of Dublin, in the life of Leopold Bloom? Oh, yeah. That's obviously House of Leaves, which can be read many different ways. <laughs> Have you actually read House of Leaves? <laughs> I haven't actually read House of Leaves. Three. I wrote One, it. two, three, pink! Holy oh. shit, this is a, 
The comeback of a lifetime. This is just like the crow. <laughs> the actual film though, right? Yeah, the film. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to Valsalva even though I'm not in water. What is the stage name of rapper O'Shea Jackson? Oh, yeah. I'll give you a hint. O'Shea Jackson Jr.'s dad. Oh, yeah, that's definitely old dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> two, one, two, orange. Right. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rest oh. in peace, ODB. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, chosen canonically a huge fan of the Wu Tang clan. Okay, orange. <sighs> and that song from Rush Hour that he's in. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Orange. Oh, I'm legitimately getting lightheaded. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay. Which co-founder of The Police is an accomplished film composer with more than 40 soundtracks to his name? I actually know this one. Yeah, it's Sting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? Really gave me that. One, two, three. Yellow. It's Stuart Copeland. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was. Yeah, he did the soundtrack for uh, Francis Ford Coppola's Rumblefish. Oh, it's pretty, impressive. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, Yellow. It's a movie about my life. What is the name of the hard case that protects a butterfly while it matures into an adult? That would be its metapod. <laughs> Not laughing about them. Three. <laughs> I didn't make it. I f***ing blew it at the last minute. Actually, no, that gets me there. Who gives a shit? Give me it. You did that with six, so. All right. It seems we have met here on this final stage, the final destination to do battle. That's the good one. Okay. In the 1979 film. Wait, stop. I need you focused. I need you to, I need to defeat you at 100%. I've got a case of the giggles. Okay. Breathe. The 1979 film Alien features what frightening tagline based very much so on astronomical reality? Yeah. That would have to be, it's over, man! <laughs> Game over, man! And it appears that I am victorious. No, wait, 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 wait. Give me one more shot. Fine. Yes. No, you don't even need to roll. I don't even get to roll, okay. What does MA rating, assigned by the TV parental guidelines, stand for? It stands for, uh, you could get a boner watching <laughs> <laughs> It stands for boner alert. Okay, well, you know what? I'm still willing to give this to you. It's been an honor serving with you. <sighs> Fine. We are clearly an equal match when it comes to our intellect and our giggles. Yes. Impressive. Impressive. Thank you for handling this and watching this. I hope you laughed too, and I hope you learned something. We will be here again with two different challengers trying to make each other laugh with their intellect. Can we wrap this up? I have a meeting with Kojima-san to approve, uh... Walking Simulator 2. Shit, I, I couldn't think of what PT stood for. It stands for Boner Alert. 